Good afternoon, everyone. Thanks for joining us here on 13 News at Noon. I'm Matthew Fultz, and we start with breaking news. Our Anne Marie is live in our newsroom, and Anne, we know IMPD announced an arrest, and now charges are coming from the prosecutor in that downtown shooting just weeks ago. Dustin, just minutes ago, IMPD did confirm that they've arrested a 17 year old in connection with that downtown mass shooting that sent seven people that were young people to the hospital. This happened near the intersection of West Maryland and South Illinois streets. IMPD says the victims were a 12 year old boy, three 14 year old girls, a 16 year old girl and two other 16 year old boys. IMPD made the arrest of this 17 year old suspect in the case on Friday. Again, we're just learning about it now. About 25 minutes ago, in fact, the Marion County prosecutor announced that he was charging the teen as an adult for criminal recklessness and dangerous possession of a firearm. You remember that this shooting is what sparked enforcement of a curfew for our young people who are out late at night in downtown Indianapolis. In fact, we followed up after this last weekend and just yesterday we heard about results from IMPD after they enforced that curfew just this past weekend. Yeah, we had a lot of officers out. We had a number of visitors, people who were enjoying downtown, and we're pleased to say that we didn't have any issues with curfew. I think people took the warnings and advice. Parents kept their kids at home, uh, they weren't out late, uh, and we're hoping that that will continue. IMPD says it seemed that parents and kids followed the rules. So now moving forward, IMPD says the department will assess each weekend to determine the level of police response. So also IMPD has announced an, a news conference on the shooting that's coming up later this afternoon. And of course, 13 News will be there and we'll have the latest on this. And also we are reaching out to the families that were impacted by this shooting, young people that were shot downtown in our community and with the latest from them and what police are saying about the charges filed today against this 17 year old in the shooting that impacted seven young people in our community when our news continues today online and also here on 13 News at 4. Back to you, Matthew. All right, thanks, Anne Marie. And of course, as we get new information into our newsroom, we will be sure to update you all both on air and online at WTHR.com.